Alrighty guys, I'm going to teach you exactly how to tie a double uni knot, just like this one. Right now. Alrighty guys, so you got your two lines right here. So the first things first is that you always want to cross the lines just like so. Then you just want to pinch that good spot that you think you've got enough line to work with on each side. So I always like to start with the braided line just because I think it's the easiest. So the first thing, that, first thing that you do, you've obviously got your line crossed. You just do like an overhand loop, just like so. You do it just like that. You literally, nice simple loop, just like that. And you want to make sure that you go through the loop and also through and around that fluorocarbon. You want to do that four to five times. I always like starting with the braid because it's a little bit easier. Fluorocarbon will sometimes unravel on you. The braid is pretty manageable. There's three, there's four. Alright, so first thing that you do is you cinch down the braid uni knot. And now to get that double uni, you just gotta go back and do it with the fluorocarbon. So make a nice loop with that. Go in and out of that fluorocarbon four times. The thinner the line, the more you want to do it. So, you know, this is an 80 pound braid and a 20 pound fluorocarbon. So, I'm just doing it four times. That's really all it needs. Um, but if I was doing like a 20 pound braid and an 8 pound fluorocarbon, that's when you would want to do you know, maybe five or six loops. Alright, so now that we got both uni knots on each side, now you just cinch them together. Kind of cool part, you literally just squeeze and then they meet each other. Just like that. That's exactly what you want to see. Now, all you need to do is just trim the tag ends. Just like so. Braid done, now we just get the fluorocarbon. Boom. And that's that, guys. It's a double uni knot. Very, very good line to line knot, but you do want to use similar diameters. So, like I said, it's an 80 pound braid, 20 pound fluoro. Um, if you do a 20 pound braid, you're going to want to do about an 8 or 10 pound fluoro, and so forth. You guys enjoyed. See you next video.